I wanted to say a few words about how you quote for a stained glass window. And in this context, I'm going to talk about quoting to repair or restore or remake somebody's front door. So I'll often be contacted by people and they'll have a dodgy front door. So the first thing I do is I ask them to send me a photo. Um, if it's not a really big job, I won't take it on unless it's, you know, in the vicinity of about three or four miles. Um, but that's a choice you make. Um, so having established it's the sort of job you want to take on, you go around and have a look at the, the door. Uh, first of all, you give it a tap and see if it's all shaky. And if it is, you're looking at a remake. Um, if it's just a broken area and the window seems in quite good condition, then you have to decide whether you can repair it in situ or whether you have to take the whole window out and um, take it apart to get to the repair area. Um, and you have to consider a couple of things with that. The shape and extent of the pieces that are damaged. Um, if they're really awkward and if they're um, uh, going to be really difficult to get back in, you're going to have to take it out. Or if there's quite extensive damage, you're going to have to take it out. If you repair it in situ, you have to make sure that you can come to the job with the glass a good match to repair it. Um, if you can take a piece of glass away with you to um, take to a glass shop or to check your stores, that's helpful. If that's not possible, I've got a box of samples that I got from um, Reading Stained Glass. Um, you pay for a box of samples, but it's, it's quite reasonable um, at Reading Stained Glass, it is anyway. And it's um, a good investment, I've always found. So you can then try and match it when you're there and you can agree with a client the best match. You will sometimes get a great match, but other times you have to compromise. Um, people will often press you for a price there and then. Don't feel pressurized to give them a price there and then. You can say, I'm gonna give it some thought and I'll get back to you later, or I'll get back to you this week. Something like that, just have that as a phrase in your mind, uh, because they will say, so how much? Give me a ballpark, how much do you think? Um, and sometimes it puts you on the spot a bit. Um, if you have to take the um, window out, you have to price for removing it, uh, putting in a piece of wood, uh, or if they prefer clear glass, uh, to fill the hole until you've taken it away and remade it. Remaking a piece of stained glass is just as expensive um, as making a whole new piece because you have to take it apart and the labour is what's costing you really. Um, the other thing to bear in mind is when you are repairing a piece of uh, a panel rather than making it from scratch you have to use glass that matches. So you can't just use your stocks if you don't happen to have the right colour. You will go have to go and buy the you know a, a piece of glass or several pieces of glass uh, that are a good match and that's something you can get caught out with um, because it can really drive the price up so in lots of instances it would be cheaper just to remake it because then you could use the green you happen to have in stock for the leaves for example um, you don't have to buy you know three shades of green uh, two shades of pink and red and lots of clear all just to match in with a few pieces that are missing um, you can get a very beautiful sympathetic window from the stocks you have uh, that might not be an exact match if you were doing a repair um, I tend to look at a window and say to myself how long will it take me to do this job and then I have a day rate so whatever your day rate is that's that's a good way to approach it probably always add a little bit of extra time on because it probably will take you longer than you think. Um, I have a half day rate for taking out and putting in windows um, because it will generally take me 
couple of hours, um, you've got travelling time. Um, you don't have design time where it comes to repairing uh, or conserving or uh, remaking. Um, you do have materials to think about though. So even if you do use your stocks, try and put a nominal cost on those stocks. Um, and of course you've got your consumables like your cement and your lead. Um, and I think that probably covers it. So I'll make another video for how you price for a brand new window. But I hope if you are starting out in stained glass, or even if you've been doing it for a while, it can be interesting to know how other people do their quotes. Um, so that's what I do. And the only other thing to say is, don't forget to build in things like the cost of your vehicle, the cost of your studio, the cost of your heating, and all the other things that are hidden costs to you operating as um, a freelance, self-employed stained glass artist. So good luck with your quotes and any questions, let me know.